Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to basically calm down all of this here. How we're going to do that is we're going to darken everything, but we don't want to make anything that's darker even darker. So we're going to use the uh, blending mode, and that blending mode which we used last time, which was darken, and that is shift all K, and you'll see right up here uh, it's darkened. So I'm going to use my color picker and I'm just going to pick up this value and I'm going to make sure I bring down my opacity about 60%. I'm going to make the uh, my pen, my airbrush pretty big. So what you want to do is you want to just lightly dust over and you see as we do that uh, you know, we're not losing the dark detail that we already put in. Same thing over here. I'm just going to lightly dust with the airbrush. See, the thing is, what we're seeing is, is that all these values are very dark. Because he's mostly in shadow. So, being mostly in shadow, that's when you're going to have these really dark values. Uh pretty much throughout the whole the whole image, throughout the whole portrait. As you can see, I'm just darkening down everything. And even here. And then we can always lighten up uh, down the line. Same thing here. We're going to, as we darken everything down, you'll see that it starts, uh, his portrait starts to become more unified. And even down here, when we were working on his neck last time, we can see that uh, the values uh, are much darker throughout. Okay, and of course we want to lighten up this area of his nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lighten mode, which would be Shift Alt G. Shift Alt G is a lighten blending mode, and what that should do is just sort of lighten the, the tip of his nose there. And maybe we'll just do regular, okay, or normal, shift alt r, go back to normal, and we'll just lighten that. I know you, uh, the picture always comes out a little bit darker over there, I remember you saying that, and that happens. Hmm. I'm s okay, I'm still in darken mode, so shift all R. That brings us back to normal. Okay. Ah, see, that's what was happening. Control Z. And let's just get a good value here. And just lighten that just a tad. And now what we can do when we're in normal mode, we'll just go ahead and we'll start to. Uh, work out some of the larger shapes. You know, we're going to keep going darker and darker. So, uh, if you do need to go darker at this point, I would suggest to go ahead and maybe move into a little bit of the media mixture. Maybe hold off just yet, okay? Uh, try and do this part with the light mixture. But as you see, I'm really, you see there's, you know, we want to go ahead and do the details uh, of his, uh, of his body. But in reality, uh, you know, it's, there really is hardly any, you know. So that's something we always have to uh, keep in mind. Same thing here, where we see things got really dark over here, we definitely can lighten them up. And that happens, you know, sometimes 
uh, for whatever reason, we just get too dark too early, and but we always have time to fix it, so that's no problem. As you can see, we're just going to uh, really lighten up this area and also soften up these edges here. Okay, Phil, so what we're doing right now is a voiceover, and so the voice, uh, the sound kind of got a little crazy on me. So what we'll do is I'll just show you uh, basically just how I'm softening those uh, areas that are pretty much, you know, too strong and, and actually coming out of balance with everything else. So normally it's not like this when you have like a hard edge or a highly contrasted portrait, but this is a very soft portrait. Uh, most of his face is in shadow. I would say maybe 10%, maybe even 5% would be in the light. And then all of the other areas uh, in his face are, are just the quiet details that are in the shadow. Remember, in details that are in the lights are like shouts, and then details in the shadows are basically like whispers. And how they're whispers is that the values are very, very close to one another. So uh, I hope that helps, and now uh, we're going to continue. So we are constantly looking for areas that stand out, that don't belong, that basically are out of balance. Remember, with this technique, you want to go from light to dark. So you definitely want to stay light as long as possible. Now, I know it's very easy to want to go to the exact value that different dark areas are within the portrait. But remember, we're doing relative darkness. So it looks dark right now, but it'll get much darker when we, we go along. But the important thing is trying to get the subtlety and trying to make sure that one value isn't really so far ahead of everything else because it will draw out the balance and, and uh, really cause some issues uh, in the mid game. So right now we're sort of setting things up, keeping things very light, keeping things uh, like the ensemble, working it all together. So uh, we'll continue doing that. So what we have to do when we are working on his eyes, especially in this particular portrait, we always got to make sure that we uh, don't make the white of the eyes actually white. The white of his eyes are very dark and they're very close to the irises. And the irises are not as dark as they appear. So with those two things in mind, uh, we'll just bring them in balance and the first thing we'll do is to uh, pretty much uh, bring down the contrast of the irises to the white of the eyes and then you'll see we'll also bring down the contrast of uh, on the right side of the face right side mean my right or your right you'll see that that value is much darker and everything is pretty close in value so uh, again it's like not getting too detailed too early but keeping things in balance and making sure that relative value uh, differences are in line
as I was looking at the eyebrows, uh, they're not the eyebrows that you normally would see if the photograph was done in like a photo studio with lots of light. So we definitely see eyebrows, but the values are very close to uh, the values of adjacent to those eyebrows. Also, if you notice, the angles were a little bit off and we went ahead and adjusted them. So always continue checking your angles and making sure that uh, the values are not too dark because when we see eyebrows we normally think they're much darker but if we really just look at this as a case by case value case by case basis when we are painting a lot of times we'll see that things aren't as they appear